Good morning guys. They say don't be satisfied with stories how things have gone with others. Try to unfold your own myth. Pauline and I here getting ready. And this is our travel vlog. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, share. The Mokaz is here. Today let's explore magical Kenya. And today let's go to Lake Bogoria. Let's do this together. So we used our personal car to the meeting point where together with friends we had to hire to a cruiser. Of course for obvious reasons. Advantages of uh, traveling on land cruiser is you never get to worry about how the road is. Sometimes it gets rainy, sometimes it gets muddy. We all know how Kenya can get sometimes and sometimes the roads are, the terrain is not that good. So we decided to hire a land cruiser together with a few friends to make it a bit affordable. So our journey started from Nairobi, Kenya and mostly I prefer traveling by road because you get to see a lot of scenic beauty. Guys, if you've never been to Kenya, you don't know what you're missing. The land is beautiful and purely breathtaking. From Nairobi to uh, Lake Bogori is roughly around 250 kilometers. And uh, the best route to use is Nakuru, Nairobi Nakuru. Of course, it's uh, I think the, the only road you can use for now. And I prefer using the Maimanyu route because of the nice ex escarpment on the road. And yeah, tourists prefer to stand on the road so they can get a better view of the road, uh, the, 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 the escarpment the Rift Valley formation and you guys don't know what you're missing up here yeah. so this route will take us to uh, Nakuru, Naivasha, Nakuru and Damalavin and then after Kaparak we have to proceed to Mogotio but now I tend to think most uh, tourists tend to use this road because of the escarpments and uh, there are designated uh, stopovers whereby you can stand and get some photos of the uh, escarpments. It's a nice, nice, nice view, guys, from here. You need to be here. So, in the car, we get to enjoy ourselves, get some selfies, have some company of kids behind. Having fun in the car, you know, as you travel, you also need to get fun. It's more of you know, that serious look. So that reminds me of Rift Valley Formation that we all studied in high school. I guess that's why I parted with Mr. Nyalangi, for those who know that teacher. A nice view of uh, Mount, that is Mount, uh, Mount Longonot from a distance. We've been here before doing team building, uh, part of what I do for a living. I'm a personal trainer guy. So Team building is partly what I do for a living and for some reason the road is very clear today uh, yeah not so many tracks on the road which makes our, our journey very easy and easy to travel easy to drive as well for a driver so the scenic uh, beauty of Kenya is Wow, you need to be here, you need to visit, you need to, you need to have fun traveling, basically. So this is our trip to Lake Bogoria, and we, may, we like making many trips to so many other places, but now today uh, we decided to make a trip to Lake Bogoria, and in the trip we need your company telling you more about our travel and the magical Kenya that we know. There are so many beautiful places in Kenya. So, so, so many. The hills, the road, that's Pauline, having some fun, taking a few photos. 
This is on our way, this is between Nairobi to Naivasha. We haven't actually gotten to Naivasha, but that's where we're headed. And yeah, it's fun. Not boring, we had good company. Kids behind there, of course, some yogurt in their mouth. Nemo kept singing, humming to some songs that I can't sing. I can't sing. Of course, they are kid songs. So trust me, last time I was a kid, many years ago. That's Ruth, our dear friend. Yeah. Beautiful scenery, beautiful mountains. Road is clear. I think it rained a few weeks ago or a few days ago. So as you can see the land is quite green. Uh, sometimes it gets very dusty when the rain hasn't like, uh, showed up in a couple of months or days. But we are lucky to have gotten a few rains and yeah, the land is very green. The road is very very clear as you can see. Nemo Cat playing behind there. I don't know which house he's making. Kids are funny. Guess what guys, our first stop over was the Buffalo Mall Naivasha. If you haven't been here, you need to be here. It has a variety of foods, uh, shops like Java, other food joints. It's a major stop over for most ones. So most prefer to stop over here and grab something to eat so at least you can. And I did also disappoint. That's me. Buffalo Mall Mall enjoying and the Land Cruiser. We normally we like calling it Kifaru. It can't stop anywhere, can't get stuck. You know, it doesn't matter how the road is. So Nemo and Tandi were back and now we're back to the car enjoying the drinks. Java, I like eating. It's one of my hobbies. Fast growing kids. So Pauline also there having her favorite drink. By the way, she likes banana chocolate, and Buffalo Mall have the best. Back on the road, journey continues. So we had a good driver called Freddy. We've known Freddy for quite some time. He's a good friend of ours as well. He's a very composed driver, and you really get to enjoy uh, the trip. Buildings have come up. I think more people are, are investing in real estate nowadays. Long time ago, you think it used to be a forest or something. And there was nothing much to see between Nairobi and Nakuru. Apart from the trees, and yeah, we like trees, we like anything green. So, first. Uh, town that you get to enjoy, of course, apart from Naivasha, next we go to Nakuru. Nakuru has enjoyed a few makeover, I think courtesy of the county government, because the roads are now wow, it's beautiful. Nakuru used to be one of the cleanest city in Africa, I can't remember when. It still is to some point, but I'm not really sure. But it used to be one of the cleanest city in Africa. I don't know how to go in, but it still is, as you can see, it's not so much lit on the road. So we turned right so that we use the route that goes to El Damaramin. Uh, and here we are. Mogot past Mogotio. Uh, and we are at now Lake Bogoria, guys. So you had to cut off some some shots and some videos because I didn't want to get uh, very long and to bore you guys with a lot of stories. So finally we are here, and of course we have to make some payments as usual before proceeding. It's not much, guys. You can all afford, and I think they take uh, they they use that money to really take care of the environment and. To make sure the next time you're coming to visit, when another person coming to visit here, uh, the place is clean and the place is well kept. 
So this is Lake Bogoria. Lake Bogoria is south of Lake Baringo. If you've been to Lake Baringo, so this is south of Lake Baringo. And the lake is alkaline in nature. We all know what alkalinity means. Maybe subject to discussion another time. So it's, uh, Lake Bogoria is known for its hot springs and geishas. And the last time I was here, I think we visited uh, when I was in high school, where we carried some eggs to boil. I can't remember if people still do that. I think it was proving if uh, <laughs> the, 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 the water is boiling. It's one of the most beautiful. Now, those are the flamingos. Oh my god. Oh my god. So flamingos are large birds identified by their long necks, stick like legs. So scientists normally say there are six species of flamingos. We have the greater flamingo, the lesser flamingo, the Chilean flamingo, Andean flamingo, the Puno flamingo and the Caribbean flamingos. Don't ask when I studied all that. Of course it's not in high school because nobody cared. Okay, my teacher didn't even tackle the issue of flamingo. So they eat, they feed on the lava in the water, small insects, as you can see them feeding, uh, algae and small fish. Of course such a place you don't like, you don't like uh, the small fishes. So those are the, they form the main food for the flamingo. The Nemo there kept them busy, throwing up these stones. I think trying to enjoy how they fly. It's nice view. Nice view because they all fly together and land back together. So flamingos are mostly pink. And the reason why why they are pink as scientists give us is because they eat uh, what we call the algae. And the algae contain beta carotene which, pro which produces like reddish orange pigments I think that's why the, the, the flamingos are a bit pink and orange I'm trying to remind myself the science I did the little science that I did so there's a lot to talk about uh, the flamingos a lot a lot a lot but guys uh, this place is nice. There's a lot of stories about this place. Uh, of course, apart from the Bogoria being formed vo uh, via volcanic activities, and we all know the ge geology, geological process that uh, took place. So there are stories of some inhabitants who used to live here. They were called the Cap Sogomo. So Cap Sogomo are two gangs, a branch of the Kalenjin. And we are told they used to have lots of cows and goats. Lots, lots of cows. So our story is told that they used to have so many cows that they used to dig uh, holes in the ground to pour milk. I think they had excess milk. And God, God wasn't angry, wasn't happy with them. I mean, God was angry with them and turned the land upside down. Okay, those are the means that we, we are told about uh, the guys here. The Cap Sogomo. We're not, we're not sure whether it's true or false. <laughs> but yeah, we tend to hear so many means, listen to so many means, and there's nothing much you can do, guys. Either believe or you don't believe. So guys, this is one of the most beautiful view in Africa and we are told about Huntington. Huntington was the first white man to visit here. So it's said that he is the first white man to discover Lake Bogoria. Of course the inhabitants had been living around here, but the first man to visit Lake Bogoria was Huntington. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We can't talk enough about Lake Bogoria. 
So there's a lot to say, there's a lot to see, there's a lot to enjoy, there's a lot of uh, natural beauty to enjoy, as you can see. So the leg stretches to the other side of the mountain and it's quite, quite, quite long. It's not as, as, as small as we like showcased. So we have mostly the pink, uh, the, 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 the pink flamingos and the white ones. <laughs> Nemo was trying to say the, the, the white ones were uh, are male flamingos and the pink one are female flamingos. Of course that's not true. I don't know the theory behind why some are white, some are pink. But I know I've explained why some are pink because of the algae that they, they consume which is loaded with beta carotene and beta carotene produces a red red reddish orange pigments that makes the flamingo appear pink in color basically that's a small science that we know about Flamingo, there's a lot, there's a lot, like there's a lot of uh, myths on why flamingos like standing on one leg. And yeah, people talk about it, they try to regulate the body temperature of the other leg. But one funny thing about the flamingo is they are very, they can really withstand hot, hot temperature. Imagine here we have the geishas and the hot springs. They can even drink boiling water, 100 degrees Celsius, proven guys. So I believe the legs can also withstand uh, such high temperature, 100 degrees Celsius, that is boiling point. If they can drink uh, boiling point water, I guess they can, uh, the legs can also withstand. So we explored a bit of the lake, went to the farthest point and trying to see if we can find something else to, to look at, something else to enjoy. But guys, this is nice. This is breathtaking. We love doing this and we love showcasing our magical Kenya. This is what we got. This is God-given nature. Now next point is here, we went to Lake Bogorias Park. Lake Bogoria Spa is also adjacent to Lake Bogoria. Beautiful, very nice, uh, beautiful accommodation. The rooms are large and nice. Now, one, one good thing about it is uh, we used to have two lions, which were, I think, in a glass, put in a glass within the, the Lake Bogoria Spa resort. And I don't know whether they're still there, but we'll get to, we'll get to find out. So this is the entrance, conference halls, uh, refreshments, the, we have the restaurant, pretty nice. So we're still enjoying, still having fun, because this is beautiful, magical Kenya, trying to really enjoy the God-given beauty that we have around here. The rooms are to the left. Nice. You can have a resort, you can have a resort, you can have the individual rooms. And I think once we get to the inside the rooms, I'll, I'll show you guys how the rooms are and what they have in store for us or for you when you tend to visit. So that's Pauline and Wamboy going in. Wamboy is a good, good, good friend of ours. We are family friends and we decided to take this journey together. And guess what guys? So inside we still have uh, a lion with the one lion. I don't know what happened to the other one. But now it's only one in a glass. Uh, like panel, really, really beautiful. So I, I, I wonder whether it's a real lion or it's a it's artificial one. 
but the hair is more the hair on the lion is very very real I, I try to touch yeah so this is where we had our meals uh, enjoy the view enjoy the hotel enjoy the rooms it's among it's among the only hotel that you can get around here so whenever you are around Lake Bogoria, be sure you have accommodation, you have meals, so we enjoy the meals, we add to our fill and the kids enjoy the meal. Yeah, pretty much like so. And we look forward to the next trip. I don't know where we are headed next, but I'll tell you guys. Uh, keep you updated so Subscribe to our channel for more travel, for more exploration of magical Kenya. Like our channel, share our channel. We love you guys and we keep giving you guys enough material and good things that at least you can enjoy to check before you get here. So this was a real, real adventure. 